Skip69 here at uh, Overclock.net. I'm at Computex 2013 where I'm at Streetcom and they have some nice little cases that I thought we would want to see. So please tell me, what am I looking at here? All right, so this is a, a, a valve or tube amplifier. Um, it's a, it's an in-house development that we've done. Uh, it's been on the market for a while now, but we've got some really good reviews. You can check those out. Um, but it's a uh, it's really just to, to match out the, the other type of products that we're doing, which are um, uh, orientated towards home theater, of course, but we are, we are moving into other markets. But since we started in that field, uh, we thought it was important to offer a product which, uh, again, matched the style and, and quality of what we're trying to produce. And, and so, you know, valve amps, tube amp amplifiers, they really do give their own unique sound, and that's something we wanted to, to uh, offer our products, uh, offer our customers. That's a very nice looking little system. All right, let's swing by and see these other ones here. All right, so this is uh, FC9. Uh, we have a slightly larger one you'll get to as well. It's FC10. They're, they're basically similar design, but this one is slightly, slightly uh, uh, narrower. Uh, and so it's just for uh, people who don't want a full width kind of uh, standard uh, AV width component uh, case. So it just takes up a little bit less room. Uh, but as with a lot of our cases, they're passively cooled. So you have the two side panels uh, which we connect to the CPU using heat pipes and that, that's, uh, that's how we cool our cases. Uh, we, we don't have fans, uh, we focus on no noise, so this is how we do it. We, we take the, the heat out of the chassis using, using the fins on, on the side panels. Excellent. Let's go look at that little tiny thing then. So those of you familiar with the Nook product from Intel, uh, they actually the standard Nook design comes with a with a fan, and uh, we, as we're really opposed to noise, so we took their their case and uh, we redesigned it, or should I say, we designed our own. And uh, basically, we 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 taken the the Nook product and we've made it totally passive, totally silent, uh, and and in something a little bit stylish too. Uh, we actually use the acryl sides is, is not just for a, a design feature; it also allows for internal Wi-Fi. So. Uh, it really will look very nice, no ugly aerial sticking out of the back, things like that. So, so again, we, we really do design, not uh, focus not just on design, but also on quality. All right, let's quickly pass this and take a quick look at, I think, I'll let's zoom in on those ones for a second. And what's this one right here? So this is, uh, uh, we, do, we do two cases which are, which are not passive. Uh, this is, again, just very minimalist. Some, someone who wants to build a really small form factor, ITX, uh, uh, you know, low cost as well. So, so we try to do something not just for high end, but, but you know, to cover the full range of, 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 of price points, just for people who, you know, they like the styling, they want to keep it simple, and they want something uh, which is, uh, you know, has a little bit of quality to it. Okay. I know people will ask me, can you can you fit a Hackintosh in there? Um, I believe a lot of people are doing that with this case. Yeah. yeah, it, yeah it, there is obviously <laughs> some similarities, and, and and yes, there are people doing that. All right. And saving the best for last, as it were. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, we're always trying to push the boundaries of design and uh, we really thought hard before we produced a desktop. A lot of people were asking for a desktop for a while. And, uh, well, we had to do it different because that's what we do and we, we really try to uh, really change the way people perceive a desktop. And um, I mean, it's interesting because we call it desktop, but most of the time we kind of shove it under the desk uh, because it doesn't look great. So what we did here is we wanted to design something that from every angle looked really nice. And uh, I think if you can, yeah, as you're doing, you can see it, it really does look pretty good from every angle. And it's not just about the looks. Uh, we have, again, using the, the side panels for, for cooling. This time we have four surfaces that will cool. And right now each surface we're rating around 65 TDP. And with the four surfaces what we can do is we can use uh, one surface for CPU or even two surfaces for CPU so even up to 130 watt if they're combined one side will be for GPU and the other side is for uh, a passive PSU which we have so that will basically allow you to build a, a really completely silent uh, desktop case Can you uh, turn that around we can see like the connections Sure uh, It's all underneath. It's all underneath. Yeah, that, that's that's how we get the uh, the uniform look all the way around. Oh, okay. I guess that was a surprise to me. Obviously. 
Wow. Um, where's the power button? Also underneath. Yeah. That is a sweet little case. And uh, again, it's for ITX because we do focus on, on the smaller form factors. And uh, we think, you know, ITX is, 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 a, is a, it's a growing market. Oh, for sure. Keep sure. Well, thank you very much. I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot from uh, overclock.net people wondering where they can get it. Uh, when is it uh, supposed to be coming? Well, uh, we're expecting this to be available end of this year. Okay. So I'm sure it'll be real. Eagerly waiting to hear that they can get it. I hope so. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Kip69 here at overclock.net. Uh, goodbye.